Today I'm going to show how to deploy a WordPress site in Kubernetes, which I've already done in another video, but how to use the power of the Kubernetes API to uh, make it to where you can get uh, Let's Encrypt certificates for that site in a fully, you know, in a way that's fully managed by Kubernetes. So uh, this is running live on my uh, all-in-one Kubernetes instance in DigitalOcean. And so it's, it's scripted to cut down on the demo time, but it's happening live. So what I just did there was I created a uh, secret for the MySQL root password um, that the MySQL database and WordPress are going to share. If you've seen my other video, this looks familiar. So I'm going to run through this pretty quickly because my other video shows how to do this. Um, and none, none of this part has changed. Just creating a MySQL deployment, MySQL service that the WordPress deployment can connect to. So we're deploying WordPress. And we'll do a WordPress service. Now this is where things will get a little different. Um, before I had the, uh, the WordPress service bound on a node port, but now I don't. It's just an on cluster service at port 80. That's because we're going to set up an, uh, an ingress in front of it, which I haven't done before. Ingresses are like level seven load balancers. That, uh, but it's a Kubernetes resource. It's kind of like a service in that there's no pods that back it, but it describes the configuration of a level seven, a level seven load balancer that different pods can implement. In this case, Nginx has implemented a container that, that you will digest the ingress resource from Kubernetes and create a level seven load balancer reverse proxy out of it. So here I've created a, um, but before this demo, I've created some self sign certs. So when we go to our WordPress site, we're going to see, it's, we're going to get that, you know, our red X on the uh, HTTPS for the, uh, for the um, certificate. And then we'll show how we can get uh, some legit ones. So this is an ingress and I haven't showed this off before, so I'll go through it. Um, basically, uh, here I'm showing that there's, this is a TLS endpoint. This is the domain that I'm securing. This is the secret that con contains the TLS key and the TLS cert. These are the rules for the ingress. It's going to be hosting this domain. When I go to this path, you know, this URI here, I'm wanting that to be routed to the WordPress service. And when I go to this URI, which if you have ever messed with Let's Encrypt before, that's a URI of note that it puts the Acme challenges in. Um, so we're going to route that to our Let's Encrypt service, which we're going to create here in a second. So now we've created our Nginx ingress. Let's create the ingress uh, deployment, which is this container here, Nginx ingress. And this is an actual pod that, contact, that contacts the Kubernetes API on cluster, pulls down the ingress resource, and then dynamically generates its configuration based on that to accommodate uh, a level of, you know, a reverse proxy for the, whatever you've set up in the ingress resource. So here we've got, you know, port 80, port 443. All right, and then we're going to create a um, ingress service. And then this is going, so this is where we're going to bind on the node ports here, port 80 and port 443. And that's going to go to our uh, Nginx ingress service, which will then, you know, depending on the URI, send different requests to different uh, services on the cluster. So if we go to the WordPress site now, we get this, right? The, the red X and there's, you know, this is a self-signed cert, so it's not going to trust it. We can proceed if we want to, which I'm going to do. We'll set this up real quick. Um, Not that I would really need to, but here we go. This just show you that it is working. All right, so here we are at our site, and we got the red X, which is not what we want. So what we want to do is we want to get some Let's Encrypt certificates for this. But this is the upstream WordPress container. I say upstream, the, the one in the Docker Hub. So I've just pulled this down. You can't really mess around with, with its configuration. It has an Apache server built in, and you can't configure that really. Um, so what we're doing, what we've done is we've set that ingress up in front of the 
the WordPress site, and now we can redirect uh, the Let's Encrypt specific URIs to a different uh, service. So let's look at what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to create a Let's Encrypt service, and yeah, that already exists because I didn't clean it up from a previous demo, but that would have worked. And uh, so let me uh, get up another terminal because I don't want it to be black magic what I'm doing. Um, I've created a special Let's Encrypt um, container. So I'm going to bring that over here. Let's see if I can't make it bigger. So the the entry point on this looks like this. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. But anyway, so what this is doing is this is really leveraging the power of the Kubernetes API from the pod perspective. So the pods inside Kubernetes can access the Kubernetes API using something called service accounts. And so if you've set up your uh, cluster to use service accounts, a pod has um, a, a token. It has information mounted into it in the form of a secret at this location to access the Kubernetes API and it can make modifications. And so we're gonna leverage that power here. Bring this back over. All right. So here I'm gonna start up a simple uh, Python web server in basically Root's home directory. And then I'm gonna use uh, the web root plugin of CertBot, which is the um, EFFs uh, Let's Encrypt client. And we're gonna, we're, we take in some information in the form of environment variables, which I'll show you later, but we'll, you can set email and then the domains that you want to secure. And that's going to put the certificates at this path. Then we, I'm going to, I, I use bash, it's nasty, but basically to create a template and then render that template into a patch to the secret that the ingress is using to get its TLS sort of certs and keys. So I'm basically updating the ingress secret and then I'm going to, um, yes, I don't think, yes. So I update the secret here. And here's where you can see, this is my token to access the API. Here's the CA cert that the API server uses that I can verify against. And then here's the JSON patch that I'm submitting against the Kubernetes API. And then here, you know, these are pretty verbose, but you only have to write them once. And then here's uh, creating a patch to the deployment. This is the ingress deployment. And the deployment won't automatically redeploy when the TLS secret changes. And so this is a way to do it. I've basically added a um, down here to the deployment template. I've added a um, annotation, TLS updated, that basically just puts the date in here when whenever I ran this job to update the TLS certs. And this new annotation causes the deployment to redeploy. So what I've got next is a let's encrypt job that runs. So a job is like a pod, except that it's designed to terminate. And so I've got the let's encrypt job here. Now it's doing a lot of stuff in the background, basically everything in that script that I just showed you. But here's the environment variables. These are the, you know, the domains I want to secure. This is the email address the secret that contains the TLS uh, cert and key, and then the deployment, the ingress deployment. And so these are, happen to be the same in this case. So what that should have done is gone off, contacted Let's Encrypt, gotten the certs, updated the secret, and then redeployed my ingress. So let's see if that worked. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna check anything. I'm just gonna believe that it worked and voila, now we're green. If we go in here, we can see view cert and we're trusted by Let's Encrypt authority. And whenever you need to renew your certs, you can just rerun that job. And so that's a way to uh, secure your uh, Kubernetes, a domain that's hosted by Kubernetes and has web apps for that domain. You can use ingress and jobs to get Let's Encrypt certificates for that.